you know, TGCT can occur in any joint or even outside a joint. So the symptoms are varied based on uh, where it occurs. But in general, what we say for disease that's inside a joint, uh, the, 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 because it's a disease of the synovium, which is that lining of the joint, which are lines, you know, most of the joints in our body, um, the synovium gets thick. And then when it gets thick, it becomes what we call friable, which means it breaks apart easy. And the way I describe it to patients is to say, um, if you take a leaf from a tree in the spring, that's what your normal synovium is like. And if you pick a leaf up off the ground in the fall, that's what a friable synovium is like. So, you know, it crunches and breaks apart and, and, uh, and that causes bleeding. And so one of the most, you know, one of the most primary symptoms that we see is a lot of bleeding into the joint. Uh, and then what the patient experiences is, is the effect of bleeding into the joint. So there, the joint blows up. You know, I hear all the time, my, my knee just blew up and I wasn't doing anything. Uh, and so, uh, you know, the blood fills the joint. That alone is irritating. So then they get a lot of irritation from that. So that causes pain. When the joint is blown up like that, you lose range of motion. It causes stiffness. Uh, and, you know, the other thing is that the symptoms sort of come and go. So there may be periods where they're fine. And then all of a sudden, without any kind of inciting event, they suddenly have this blow up and loss of range of motion and pain. Um, and, you know, so those are the kind of general things, no matter what joint it is. But then, you know, there's also the chronic effects, like uh, the, the disease eroding into the bone, and that can cause long-term chronic pain. Um, so less of that intermittent kind of symptom, but more of a real, you know, chronic all the time knee hurts kind of thing.